Hello everyone, I'm Ankur Gupta and I work as a Java developer in Mindfire Solutions. This is my ninth video on Jasper Server reports and in this video I'll be talking about how to add a simple report in Jasper Server uh, and that report is developed in iReports and uses this sample database. I will show you how to create that even and will also uh, this tutorial will lead to a successful upload of a sample report and you will know with, you will know basically how to attach an i report with uh, jasper server and you could even uh, know how to get the connectivity of like uh, replacing a new version of a report from the i report itself without opening its server and uh, as I have told in my previous video, the repository has a great connectivity with iReports. You have a repository navigator, therein we could add the server and you could directly have the changes from the iReport. So, to start with, let me come over on to the prerequisites which you require for uh, following this tutorial. Uh, you should have a working setup of a Jasper server any version it might be, uh, it's just a simple demo so it could be run on any, any particular version but as of now I'm using 5.0 Jasper Server Community Edition then uh, you need to log in into the Jasper Server by localhost colon 8080 Jasper Server this will be the landing page for the Jasper Server or the login page basically then you need to add the uh, admin credentials or the default credentials which are as jasper admin slash ja uh, and the password jasper admin then the report you which you are uploading should be designed in uh, i report first tested it's working formally then we will introduce that that on the jasper server like this is the particular process as uh, lots more could be tracked on iReports rather on Jasper server so I would suggest that you would uh, first run the report successfully if you get favorable results then only upload on server as to if changes are a bit fuzzy there so let me show a demo now ok this is my iReport I'm using the sample database I have run from here I have used into my several videos and let me just create a new new report and let me name it sample db server upload so that I know what it is and let me place it onto the desktop so I find it easily and so this is my report uh, now I need to set here the query uh, for, before that I need to select a sample database which is SQL DB test from here and then edit the query select star oops sorry it should be or Okay, we see these fields over here. And let me just map it. I will now put a static text over here. And something. Means you size of it. Okay. 
I don't need a page header. Let me remove it. Now let me drag some fields from here. Shift here. Uh, shape date, right? Shift. Ship name. Ship city. And ship region. Okay. Double clicking just reduces to the whatever the uh, height of the uh, highest element in the band. So I'm just to using that to be quick. I need not use footer in summary. Okay. Now let's do this. Increase the font a bit. Eighteen would suffice. Let me just preview this. So here comes the result. Yes, we did it. So Now in the previous video, I have told you how to upload, how to uh, like add a local repository. This is my Jasper server on my system. So here and I could see the reports which are there. So these are the samples already present. Few of them I've created on my own. So and clicking onto this, we could just see whatever things are here, and we could even get what properties it is containing like uh, we could see the description as show the cascading resource and a descriptor we could even modify it over here we double click it This is a bit slow working on the system, uh, but never mind. Uh, so this is the report which has opened here. Now remember one thing, like if you modify anything in this report, and if you don't replace it, if there is an option of replace replacing the current document that is which on you working on into this report itself. So it replaces it. Until then, it dies into the temp folder as you could see user that is my local temp path and the file there so if we don't save it onto the server it will just get lost on on the in the temp folder so remember that uh, remember to just uh, see it once before selecting and this is how it looks like the descriptor and the basic is the XML which is working on here. Okay, so we are done here, right? So all all the we could see all the things which are working here. Okay, so let's upload this one. Let me open the report inspector. Let me add a parameter that would. Uh, add some more explanation uh, to this report. I am adding uh, ship. Yeah. Okay, it takes integer and it must prompt. Okay, now in the query, let me modify this. Uh, yeah. I need to add a where condition. the parameter just I just introduced okay this should work okay let me just check it so if I preview this if I enter one it's working fine 
we'll go see just for checking tons is the first record and if i do a two and so on see see the ship name changes and already came so this is working for us so let us just upload this in the server my browser is here okay now the path will be local host the jasper server okay jasper admin as my pu id and jasper admin as my password so see you can see the same repository here now i will add that report into the sample for this i need to right click on this server on this folder and there is a option called resource add resource and there is in jasper report as we need a report here so the name would be sample report upload now you could add the description over here this is now let me browse that the jrxml which we created few minutes back so this was the file sample db server upload okay now as we remember from the previous things which we did we need to add an input control Okay. So there is an option to define input control and to uh, take the input control from the repository. I am defining it. Uh, it could be single value. I will just for uh, take. I will just show you single select query. The name will be ship via. The name should be exactly same as we did. in the report uh, else it will conflict so it should be mandatory you could add a description here as we we need to modify it then it not should it should not be read only it should be visible then we need to define the query for as we select it single select query now name could be ship via again for the any sort of confusion i am just using the same name for the query and i need to link a data source and it's in the repository as a sample database it's the j server j and di data source i need to select that and the query will be select distinct via from from orders it needs to be order by that is really not required now this is what we need to have like the name would be ship via as we are retrieving it here and we need to add it over here and the value would be also ship via so that's it we need to submit this we need to link the data source with the repository as well with the report as well and it should be the same as we did that the query should be we it's already there in the report and the customizations could be 
adjacent location or or a desired place where we could host this. We submit this. So see, we have a sample report upload. If we run this, it's loading now. This is we can select from here one, two, or three. So this is how things turn up. Now one must be thinking why this thing, this input control does not open at the beginning of the report before generating it. Now the reason why this is happening that we have missed a checkbox here. This should always prompt. If you do an always prompt, it will prompt when the report starts. Let me just show you. See, before generation of report, it will prompt. Let me select three, and here comes it three. So as simple as this, this is a basic overview of how the reports are going to be added. I will just show you this report is again added in the repository as well. If we look at the local repository here in the this I have added see there is sample report upload now we could see the input controls as well chip here and resources are none so this is all which we have done in this report see, and we could even open this copy of the report on the server and we could modify from here and then as I said we need to replace it to see the changes onto the server so that's it for the demo. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, if you like my video, you could follow me on Twitter, Ankur underscore AUG, my Twitter handle. You could follow me on Facebook, or you could see my profile over LinkedIn, or you could tune into my blog spot, which is www.ankurthetechie.blogspot.in. Thank you for watching my video. You could also visit the official website of Mindfire Solutions on www.mindfiresolutions.com and even post views and comments on my video and if you have some queries or questions you can also put them in comments. I will love to answer them. Thank you.